Why do you keep knocking people out? What is wrong with you? Are you excited for Venom The Last Dance? Let me know in the comments down below. I read them and I comment to all of them. Venom The Last Dance reactions are in. Is it worth seeing? And is it a good final installment of the Venom trilogy? Let's talk about it. Now we're going to be the least protector. I liked Venom 1 a lot, and I really enjoyed Venom Let There Be Carnage. I own the both, and I watch them both quite regularly, probably like once or twice a year. I sit down, and I just throw on a Venom movie, and I watch it, and I smile gleefully as it hits the screen. One of the first videos I did on the channel was way, way, way back with our first look at Tom Hardy's Venom on, I think it was like a brisk bottle or something, and I did a video on that, and I was very excited. I had a lot of faith in the franchise. I, at the time, one movie, I thought Tom Hardy was going to bring it. He always brings his A-game, and he believed in the character, and he loved the character. And to this day, he still loves playing Eddie Brock. But this is the last one, right? They said this is, uh, quote-unquote, the last dance. That's what the movie's called. This is their last ride. One final ride. One last ride. A lot has been made going into it about how it can connect to the MCU and Spider-Man 4 and Tom Holland and this and that. And, and Tom Hardy saying that he wants to fight Spider-Man and saying anything is possible when it comes to Tom Holland. The possibility of Venom and Spider-Man coming together, I can't think of anybody who would be remotely interested in, in seeing that. <laughs> <laughs> and insiders are saying, don't get your hopes up. That is not happening. We're going to look at some of these early reactions to discuss. Also, maybe leave your expectations at the door when you go see this movie and you're going to have a fun time. That's what it's sounding like. Let's talk a little bit more about the first reactions to Venom, The Last Dance. Eric Voss writes, I saw Venom, The Last Dance. It's a confidently bonkers trip that indulges in 90s sci-fi action camp. It's got a metal opening and a wild climax. The first Venom movie that doesn't need Spider-Man, in my opinion. Very weird, very fun, just the right amount of null. There are a few confusing, unfulfilled promises, but then the movie throws a handful of other surprising joys at you that you don't feel to let down. The movie also establishes one kind of weird detail about the MCU that I'm looking forward to overanalyzing. Interesting. I think Venom The Last Dance is the best of the three, while still being incredibly bad. It's bizarre and watchable because it's willing to try anything. Symbiote fish? Sure. Mrs. Chen dance sequence? Why not? I laughed a few times, but this trilogy accomplished very little sigh, says Sean O'Connell. Joseph Decklemeyer, Venom the Last Dance takes you on a wild and exhilarating journey from start to finish. It's a fun popcorn movie that reminds me of the early 2000s comic book movies. The action is great and is a tribute to action films from the 80s. There's a ton of funny moments. Are there plot holes and some issues with the story? Yes. Is it fun? Also, yes. Drew Taylor says, Venom The Last Dance is the best of the Venom movies. The insanity has been ramped up significantly, but so has the heart. It's not perfect, but it's super entertaining, and there's a giant monster that chews people up and sprays blood at the back of its head. Pretty nuts. Josh Wilding, I've seen Venom The Last Dance, and it's the most cinematic, monumental Venom movie to date. Eddie Brock and Venom's dynamic is at its strongest in this one, and the stakes are so much higher. I had a lot of fun with this one. The final act is bonkers. More from Josh Wilding, is it perfect? Nah, far from it. However, it's leaps and bounds ahead of Venom and has a way meatier plot than Venom Let There Be Carnage. The Spider-Man 4 rumors have been blown out of proportion, in my opinion, but Venom The Last Dance left me wanting more of these two and no mostly chris killian venom the last dance is a wacky buddy road trip that stretches its pg-13 rating as far as it possibly will go simply put venom 3 is classic guilty pleasure cinema turn your brains off and let venom snack on them he continues Nall is creepy i love the way they use him and set up as a future threat fingers crossed this isn't tom hardy's last dance with venom and that we'll see him face to face with spider-man when we least expect it. So those are the Twitter reviews. These reactions highlighted both the strengths and weaknesses of the latest installment in the franchise. Tom Hardy's dynamic portrayal of Eddie Brock and Venom remains the emotional and comedic anchor of the film. His effortless performance captures the chaotic symbiosis between man and alien, which continues to drive fan interest. However, while Hardy delivers, critics are quick to point out that the film's story seems formulaic with its plot suffering from lack of depth and innovation. The film is described as a roller coaster of CGI laden action sequences, with the fight scenes providing the kind of spectacle fans of the series have come to expect. 
The symbiote battles are intense and visually compelling, featuring the same larger-than-life chaotic destruction that has become a trademark of the Venom movies. But even with thrilling action and visual effects, the narrative struggles to push boundaries, leaving some viewers craving more substance beneath the surface. Several critics noted tonal inconsistencies with the film attempting to balance dark, brooding moments with lighthearted banter. For some, this contrast works offering humor and levity amid the mayhem. For others, the jarring shifts in tone detract from the story's impact, ultimately limiting the emotional depth. The stakes of the plot feel lower than expected, particularly for a third entry in a franchise that had potential for a grander conclusion. Despite its shortcomings, fans of Venom who have followed Eddie Brock and Venom's journey through the first two films will likely enjoy the ride. There's a sense of finality in Venom The Last Dance, but whether it lives up to the hype as a proper send-off is still up for debate. For new viewers, the film may struggle to provide enough substance to fully engage. In short, Venom The Last Dance seems to deliver on its promise of symbiotic action and entertaining banter, but falls short in pushing the boundaries of storytelling. While it may not redefine the superhero genre or win over new critics, it provides enough thrills to satisfy its loyal fan base. So it sounds like fans of the franchise are going to be happy. And if you're watching this one for the first time and you haven't seen the other two Venom movies, maybe start with the first two Venom movies. I don't... I don't know why you'd go into the third one without seeing the first two, but if you do and you don't understand what's going on, there's two more that might help figure that out. Surprise, Horsey! I love Horsey! It sounds like Spider-Man clearly is not in this and has no part in it and doesn't even need to be in this, but Null is something that seems like some are happy with how he's used and some are like, I wish there was more of how it is. The, the fact that this has that early 2000s superhero vibe is kind of a strange thing. I remember back back then enjoying those movies, but also remember that they weren't highly praised. So the fact that that's being talked about is kind of strange to me, but whatever, I'm here for it. What's his name then? No. no. And that's a roundup of the Venom The Last Dance early reaction. Sounds mostly positive, not a perfect film, but an enjoyable movie. Nonetheless, something that you can go in and have popcorn and buy a overpriced popcorn bucket i guess sit down and watch it it's not going to be it sounds like it's not going to be overly lore heavy it's not going to break any kind of canon necessarily and it's not going to elevate the story of the sony verse or venom storyline in any way whatsoever aside from maybe null coming in how it translates into the mcu is going to remain to be seen until the movie debuts i'm looking forward to seeing it are you looking forward to seeing venom the last dance let me know in the comments down below what do you make of these early reactions do you take them as at face value or are you saying these are just people who got to see the movie early and they're overly excited maybe i should reel it in a little bit let me know in the comments down below thank you so much for all of your time i really appreciate it give us a like and a subscribe and until next time maybe the master of your own universe have you spent time talking to tom holland about how this could potentially go down of course you'd be remiss not to think wouldn't that be a fantastic opportunity